Hello everyone. We are back. The 11.15 patch notes came out. Um, they go into effect in just 22 hours and we're really on top of it. I think it was released like an hour ago. Um, after this, I get a piece of cake to reward myself. So let's jump right in. And I will oo-woo your pants off. As usual, authors are Momcat and Shio Shoujo. Rise of the Sentinels. We've heard your feedback on the slow progression rate of the Rise of the Sentinels in client narrative experience. Starting with the next chapter of Rise of the Sentinels, we're adding a new infinitely repeatable mission that awards extra Sentinels points just for playing a game, including base TFT. Note, since we're doing this mid-event, the missions are hidden, but the faster rate of progress should be immediately noticeable. The new mission will be Play 1 PvP Match Made Game of Summoner's Rift, ARAM, Ultimate Spellbook, or Team Fight Tactics, excluding Hyper Roll. To earn 600 Rise of the Sentinels points, this mission can be repeated infinitely. It won't appear in your mission's log. Activates with Chapter 3 of Rise of the Sentinels this week. Champions, Akshan, Action, Akshan, the Rogue Sentinel, if anybody knows how to pronounce that, please let me know. Um, all that information will be in a different link. I'm not going to run through it. It's going to be a lot, um, but will be released this week. Annie, Q damage ratio decreased. Q, disintegrate. Damage ratio went from 80% AP to 75% AP. Aurelion Soul, Q cooldown increased. Q, star surge. Cooldown went from a base of 11 to 12, decreasing by one second with each rank. Blitzcrank, base armor and Q damage increase. Base stats armor went from 37 to 40. Q rocket grab went from a base damage of 70 to 90, increasing by 50 with each rank, plus 120% AP. Caitlin, Q damage ratio increase later. Q piltover pacemaker. I almost said pacemaker. Peacemaker. Damage ratio went from a base of 130 to remaining at 130, but now increases by 15 with each rank. Cassiopeia. E base and power damage increased. E twin fang base and power damage went from a base of 10 to 20, increasing by 20 with each rank. When E bonus attack speed decreased early. E skip and slash bonus attack speed went from a base of 40 to 20 and increases by 15 with each rank. Aurelia W damage ratio decreased. Damage reduction decreased later. W Defiant Dance. Damage ratio went from 50% AD with 150% AD maximum to 40% AD and 120% AD maximum. Damage reduction went from 40 to 80% physical damage and 20 to 40% magic damage levels 1 through 18 to 40 to 70% physical damage and 20 to 35% magic damage. Hale. Kale. Base magic resist decrease. Base stats magic resist went from 30 to 26. And in Q damage increased. Q thundering shuriken damage went from a base of 75 to 85 and now increases by 45 with each rank plus 80% AP. Mordekaiser W cooldown decrease. Stored post mitigation damage from damage dealt increased. W indestructible. Cooldown went from a base of 14 to 12 and decreases with one second with each rank. Stored post mitigation damage from damage dealt went from 35% to 45%. Nidalee, base health and health growth increased. Base stats, health went from 545 to 570 level 1. Health growth went from 85 to 95. Rel, W cooldown decreased. W, Garomancy, cooldown went from 13 seconds to 11. Rumble, various Rumble heat system bug fixes and other QOL adjustments. Passive Junkyard Titan, updated heat decay bug fix. Fix a bug where Rumble's heat would start decaying at inconsistent times instead of the intended 4 seconds. New overheat check, Rumble now immediately overheats upon reaching 100 heat instead of having a short window where multiple spells could be cast before overheating. Updated shop undo bug fix. Rumble's heat no longer resets the previous values when undoing shop purchases. Updated tooltip now correctly indicates overheat duration of 5.25 seconds. Actual overheat duration unchanged. E electro harpoon updated out of range bug fix. Rumble no longer stops moving when targeting electro harpoon at extremely long, long distances. E electro harpoon. Updated out of range bug fix. Rumble no longer stops moving when targeting Electro Harpoon at extremely long distances. 
Shyvana, Q cooldown decreased, sterly damage ratios increased. Q, twin bite, cooldown went from a base of 9 to 7 and decreases by 0.5 seconds with each rank. First hit damage ratio went from 25% AP to 35% AP. Second hit damage ratio went from 15% AP to 25% AP. Silas, Q detonation damage increase, W heal decrease. Q, chain lash, detonation damage went from a base of 60 to 70 and increases by 55 with each rank. W, King Slayer. Heal went from a base of 30 to 25 and increases by 25 with each rank plus 40% AP. Maximum Heal went from a base of 60 to 50, increasing by 50 with each rank plus 80% AP. Syndra. Q cost decrease early. Q, Dark Sphere. Cost went from a base of 60 to 40 and increases by 10 mono with each rank. Thresh, E cooldown increased, E flay, cooldown went from a base of 11 to 13 and decreases by 0.75 seconds with each rank. Viego, Q base damage decreased, bonus damage against monsters increased, healing from damage against marked minions decreased. Q, Blade of the Ruined King, base damage went from a base of 25 to 15, increasing by 15 with each rank. Bonus damage against monsters went from 10 to 20, and healing from damage against marked minions went from 50% to 10%. Fight the nerf. Wukong, base health regen decrease. Base stats went from a health regen of 4 to 2.5. Zaya, R, feather storm. Cooldown went from 160 to 140, decreasing by 20 with each second. Items, hole breaker. Boarding party bonus resistance went from 20 to 45 bonus armor and bonus magic resistance to 20 to 60. Boarding party minion bonus resistances went from 60 to 135 bonus armor and bonus magic resistance to 60 through 8, 180. Ultimate spellbook updates. Alternate summoner spell pool. New Malphite R, R Unstoppable Force is now available with zero bonus ability haste and 80% ratios. Removed Trindamir R, our Undying Rage is no longer available. Champion buffs, Bard, plus 5% damage dealt, minus 5% damage taken. Champion nerfs, Jax, plus 5% damage taken, Trundle, plus 5% damage taken, and Yumi now does negative 5% damage dealt and negative 25% healing and shielding. Alternate summoner buffs, Misfortune R, so now 100% AD AP ratios from 80%. Jin R went from 35 bonus ability haste to 45. Ezreal R went from 80% AD AP ratios to 90%. Luxar went from 80% AD AP ratios to 90% AD AP ratios. And Xerath R, R went from 90% AD AP ratios to 100%. Alternate summoner nurse Olaf R. Went from 10 bonus ability haste to 0. Bug fixes and more. Stealth champions can now get stealth alternate summoners offered to them. Clones will now properly copy health bar icons, including the alternate summoner icon. This fix applies more broadly as well. Example, Omnistone will now properly copy its icon over. First blood gold now correctly matches the classic summoner rift value, 150 gold to 100 gold. Dragon Souls Revive now triggers after Champion Revive. Fix a bug where the announcement text for stealing a ruined dragon was incorrect. Follow Bear will no longer sometimes spit out missiles from his alternate summoner when trying to bite. Matchmaking. Matchmaking for the ultimate spellbook Q has been receded. This means that your matches should now be with players of more equal skill level. This fix happened in the middle of the last patch, but we believe it's worth a call out here. Summoners, Rift rank split 3 start. And into the third split of ranked, we go on Sunday, August 8th at 11.59 p.m. local time for your region. Pop your way to the top with exclusive <laughs> Pop your way to the top with exclusive rewards, an action summoner icon, action emotes, and a series one Eternals capsule. Clash starts. Clash starts. Mount Targon Clash. The second weekend of the Mount Targon theme clash will be July 24th and 25th. Team formation for the second weekend will be open starting July 19th. Bandle City Clash. The first weekend of the Bandle City themed clash will be August 7th and 8th. Team formation for the first weekend will be open starting August 2nd. Second weekend will be during patch 11.16. 
Bug fixes and QOL changes. Recall sound effects now play for base Nautilus, Abyssal Nautilus, Subterranean Nautilus, Subterranean Nautilus, it, it lists that twice, uh, Astra Nautilus, the Astro Nautilus, and World Breaker Nautilus. Fix the bug on Kane's ESFX where it made a popping noise when it looped. Kane's Global Transformation SFX will now play for both allies and enemies. Odyssey Kane's dance music is now form specific. Kane's W on hit SFX is now form specific. Base Kane's recall SFX is now form specific. Kane's transformation SFX is now stereo for the local player. Fix a bug where Lilia's Q blooming blows movement speed did not scale off of AP from runes. Nocturne's passive Umbra blades now correctly heals for the full amount against pets. Alawi's Q Tentacle Smash animation no longer locks if she inputs another command free after casting the ability. Shaco's Q Deceives Orange Smoke S BFX now correctly appears from the enemy's point of view when casting through Fog of War. Clyde and all of his skins have one of his W voice lines restored. Marauder Clyde now correctly searches between his mounted and unmounted voice lines. Vigo will now respond to Shadow Isle's voice interactions rather than Demacian. Zoe's taunt voice lines for EZ and Lux have been restored. True Damage Senna's unique skin voice lines have been restored. Upcoming skins and chromas include Sentinel Graves, Pike, Rengar, Ruined Misfortune, Unbound Thresh, and Cyber Pop Action. And the chromas will be for Sentinel Graves, Sentinel Pike, Sentinel Rengar, Room is Fortune, and Cyber Pop Action. Alright, I hope that that was speedy enough, uh, compact enough for you. If you have any suggestions to make these better, please let me know in the comments below. And always make sure to subscribe if you would like to get notified when these come out. You have a lot of fun with this patch.